coming here and uh, looking us up. The LSI headquarters. Oh, I see you brought a lot of baggage. Many of our clients have a lot of baggage. LSI, we are love scene investigators, and we can solve any problem related to dating or relationships. Why seek us out? I'm hoping, since you guys are the experts, that you can uh, help me fast track my progress in this field. I'm a crazy magnet. The, the, the long and the short is, we're definitely going to be able to help you. Along the way, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> there might be some drama. There probably will be some drama. Come here, we're in pursuit. There might be some pain involved with this process, but if you're really committed to getting to that goal that you want, <laughs> we investigate love, dating, and relationships, witnesses to your love life. Sometimes they're going to tell a different story from what you tell us. And I'm asking her questions like what her favorite author is and what her favorite band is, and she's asking me how many kids I wanted. Eventually, there's, uh, there's always going to be a most dramatic place that has affected your life. And it's really memorable, and it probably affects you to this day as far as how you get along with women. It's important to go to that place. Well, I know I made a mistake picking up a girl at a psychiatric hospital. And for us, that's the love scene. My twin sister died when I was 32, and so I was really depressed. Like, I was, like, really depressed for uh, seven and a half years. So, you know, so, I mean, I, you know, you're not that attractive to people when you're really depressed. So it's always about her and what she needs, but she's never talked about what the other person is needing and how she can support that other person. I don't know about you, but I don't get a lot of emotion out of the guy. You know, it's like talking to a robot. Oh, I slept with an alcoholic lesbian man. I think he's a little shady. You think we need to tail the guy? Right, come in, we're in flipper suit. Where are you going with your porn? Porn? I'm just returning my books. Books? Oh, come in, he's got books. Abort the pursuit. We'd also love to watch Will in action at a club picking up a girl. Could we have that scenario? Oh, yeah. You always at a bar ought to be leaning against the bar. But you're already in the power position because women need to get through you to get to the destination, which might be to order something. It doesn't need to be logical. Sexual attraction is illogical. You know, I'm just kind of um, involved right now. Oh. So, okay. he wasn't very confident, yeah. but he was really nice. I don't think he's really himself he's approaching something. All right, so Anna. Um, She's kind of in your face right away. You know, so there's something to do with boundaries here. This is our chance for corrective measures, okay? okay. You need some work on your ability to flirt. Be like... <laughs> You might even go spank a guy on the ass. Women start all sexual attraction. Okay. Men may think they do by approaching you, but they don't really. Say, hey, you, I accept your apology. He'll say, what? For what? Yeah. What did I do? Yeah, exactly. And you'll say, for talking to such a beautiful woman. It's a terrific pickup. <laughs> Actually, I think it's totally cheesy, but... When you first meet, it's sexual, period. Okay. It's sexual attraction. It okay. needs to be fun and flirtatious. Okay. And looking at the evidence, interviewing your witnesses, going to your, your love scene, uh, one of the things that I notice is that I think you come across to women in a way that's not mysterious because they, they kind of get you too quickly. Uh, that you're, they either think you're shy or they think you're unfriendly early on, and then the question mark disappears. We feel that, to a degree, if you were to move on into a lengthy, durable relationship with a man, he would be basically taking her place in your life, because that's ultimately what we all want, somebody we can rely on completely, trust, have honesty, loyalty from, mentoring from here and there. So if you move on and, and you're with a man in a durable way, it'll feel like you finally must say goodbye to your twin.
can't fight the science. <laughs> you can't fight the science. <laughs>